welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pre-plan with me. Um, I say pre-plan because we're gonna be laying down essentially the guts of the kit and then it'll be later when I fill in the rest of it. I'm gonna call these pre-plans from now on just because I feel like it should only really be a plan with me if the full kit is used. So this is going to be a pre-plan with me where we're just gonna lay down the base of the kit. I'm going to be using Coffee Doodles Co. Um, Throne of Selena. This is a kit that is not yet released, but that is coming out this upcoming Friday. It is our June book club book, Throne of Glass. Um, which if you have not read it, feel free to join the Facebook group, which will be linked down below, so that you can read along with us and discuss. So for this book club, um, Elaine did two different kits. This is the dark kit. You can check out my Instagram. I walk through both of the kits. So she did a dark and a light kit. This is the Throne of Selena. Like I said, it is the darker of the two kits. And it's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Um, it has Selena here in two different views. And I love the detailing with the scars on her back there. The beautiful full boxes. Then we have the functional page. The headers as well as these really gorgeous half boxes, the <clears throat> bottom washies, and then some of the deco washi headers and um, icon. I don't know exactly what to call those. I need to learn the page names probably. <laughs> the full heart checklist, the additional washi decorations with the full box and some icons and page flags. This is a newer page that was um, redone. If you guys have not ordered from her before, the date dots here are new as well as the three heart checklist. Elaine is really amazing in listening to feedback about the kits and kind of adjusting them from there. So if you guys have feedback about any of the kits, things that you would like to see, the Facebook group is definitely the place to do that. And then the amazing glitter headers as always. These colors are amazing. I love the touches of the light pink in here, kind of pulling the two kits together and showing both sides of Selena. If you've read the book, you know that you kind of see the darker side first and then she starts to lighten up a little bit. And a lot of that is explained throughout the books as well as Assassin's Blade, which was a prequel to the series. Um, so again, Sarah J Moss, Throne of Glass, if you guys have not read this, highly, highly recommend it. It is, I think, classified as young adult. It is fantasy, um, so it's got fae and creatures and stuff in it. So if that's not your type of thing, then definitely give it a try because I don't think you'll be disappointed. It is a little bit of a slower read, so keep that in mind when you start it. Um, but definitely, definitely something I recommend. I am on page 81 already. I started reading early because... I couldn't help myself. Um, Elaine also has these super adorable bookmarks up in her shop. This one is, but it has the book club art from May, which you guys know I'm like obsessed with. So definitely grab those as well if you need some new bookmarks. And then let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm just gonna show you guys a sneak peek of my May full spread because I am obsessed, you guys. I love this so much, so, so much. So again, if you don't have this kit yet, grab it before you don't have the chance to grab it again because it's amazing and I will be using it for next year's birthday as well. So we're going to be pre-planning the week of June 10th through the 16th, which is Father's Day. I'm not using a Father's Day kit because... I just decided not to. My planner is more for me um, and what I like, so I'm not gonna pressure myself into using a Father's Day kit when my husband doesn't really care if I put a Father's Day spread in there anyway, and I'd rather use these. So this week is going to be the Handmaid's Tale kit, which I will also be pre-planning and filming. I just wanted to get this one laid down so you guys could see it before the release this Friday. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my bottom washi as always, then I will do my date covers and then I'll come back before we do the sidebar.
Okay, so I have everything laid down as far as headers and bottom washi goes. Now, the struggle of trying to decide which full box to put up here in the corner. Oh gosh, guys, this is a really hard decision. I wish there was a way to like get you guys to vote as you're watching, but without doing it live. Um, because there's just some really amazing choices here, and I don't... I don't know. So what I want to do, I think, is go with Selena as Selena. But I also like that I will not be afraid because that's kind of her motto throughout the book. But what I'm thinking is since I typically sometimes end up using tool full boxes, that these, these will be my two choices. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to put her at the top and then I'm going to fill out my sidebar to see if I can get another full box in there. Um, because I feel like if I end up using two like I usually do, then it'll work out perfectly and it kind of sets the theme of the kit as, you know, her and this darker side to her that she kind of makes everybody believe is her real side. And we come to find out, not so much. So there's that. And then we're going to lay down the page flag as well go and what I think I want to do with the sidebar this time because you guys know I've been kind of going back and forth on what I want to do with the sidebar so I am going to keep meals as always because that does help me kind of track my meal planning although you know I haven't really been using it but we're going to do that then we're going to do the two habit trackers and then we are going to do I think what I want to start doing is do my currently reading on the side over here instead of putting it on Monday. It eats up space on Monday, which is great for the hourly, but when I switch over into the vertical, it's not going to be, I think, conducive to planning in the vertical that way because then it's going to eat up deco space that I would want to put down like my no white space stuff. So what we're going to do is try it this week, see how it goes and see if I like it and then we'll make a final verdict from there. I always forget to white out these stinking dots. <sighs> Which it actually works out because they cover this time. Yay. I'm gonna add this blue because it's super pretty. And also, can I just tell you guys how frustrated I am with my hands right now? I did a acetone like foil soak which you can't really see it. But I did an acetone foil soak to get my nails off and it left my fingers like super dry and just really, really angry with me. And they are just not happy with me at the moment. So they're starting to heal. They're a million times better than they were a few days ago. But it's just really irritating because I get that scratchy like microfiber feeling and it drives me bonkers. Okay, so let's see, because I do this every time, I don't plan out the coloring, and then I get really upset when it doesn't work out. So I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to use a different box for the reading checklist. So if we do maroon with a gray glitter header, this purple color with a black glitter header underneath, and then I can do, yeah, so that'll be wash the face, read for 30 minutes. And then we'll do the currently reading underneath. Although I don't think I'm going to have room for another full box if I do the currently reading over here on the side. Because the full box normally goes on the bottom. So what do I want to do here? We're just going to have to get those extra full boxes in somewhere else. because I do want to try to use as many as possible. Ugh. There just isn't enough space in one week, guys. There's too many stickers, not enough space in one week. I'm gonna need Elaine to stop giving us so many options because I can't make decisions. <laughs> okay, so there's those two. So yeah, then if I do the currently reading on the side, then it doesn't, you know, we'll leave currently reading on Monday for now because I do want to use that other full box over there. So we'll just leave the currently reading 
on Monday for now and then we'll make up a better game plan later. Because I just really want to put this other full box over here. Yep. That's what we wanted. That's what we needed to do. Perfect. And then we'll add another glitter header here just to top it off, which that like lines up perfectly. So for this planner, this is perfect. It's perfect spacing. It actually works out really well, which I think a lot of my stickers are a little crooked too. So even being a little crooked, they tend to kind of go this way. They slant down. But even if you kept it upright, um, this matches up perfectly. The glitter header hits right at the very bottom of the page. So you're able to do two full boxes, glitter header in between, both habit trackers, a regular header, as well as your Monday through Saturday. So just for future reference for the sidebar, if you did want to set something up like this, this is like perfect to run out of space at the bottom. So now that that's done, we're going to go work on our weekend banner as well as the full boxes on the weekend. And then we'll come back and kind of lay them out through the week. And I did want to take a second to show you guys because I realized that I forgot to bring it up earlier. I wanted to show you guys the light kit as well. So this is the throne of Lillian. So same um, girls just in different coloring. The glass castle as well and the lighter coloring. Full boxes which I absolutely love all of these. This tomb is perfect. The library is amazing. Rattle the stars. Fleetfoot is just oh, it's so good. So good, guys. And then just a quick walkthrough, because like I said, I did do a full one on my Instagram. I absolutely adore these headers. Adore them. Your header sheet, your date covers. I adore the date covers, not the headers. Oh my goodness. Heart full boxes. This page is amazing. That arrow is just awesome. And then date covers. The three heart checklists are beautiful. I love those so much. And then your glitter headers, which reminds me, I do need to add the deco at the top of this one as well. So let's actually go ahead and do that before we do the weekend. So we'll just add some of this deco at the top and there's really no rhyme or reason to how I put things in here. I just try to put the longer ones in between where the date covers are so it doesn't run onto the other side. And then I just kind of throw them in here wherever. I just like adding that little extra touch of the theme of the kit to make it perfect. Okay, I'm actually, I want to shift this one over a little bit because I want to add that other knocker there because he's the cutest. Ugh. Okay. There we go. So he's added. So now we'll go ahead and throw our full boxes in for the weekend. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the throne or the glass castle down here. But I also want to put in, this is just going to be a full on like deco week, which I am a-okay with because this is going to go up and take over half of the boxes, which again, I'm okay with. This will be a glimpse into no white space paint, no white space planning in the vertical because this is probably what's going to end up happening. More stickers, less white space. Duh. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to go back and order some more of these because I would love to put these on like everything, like my laptop even. Maybe. Look at that, it's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's like perfect, guys. Look at that, oh, I'm in love with this kit. I'm in love with all her kits, but 
I'm in love with this, and I know that I'm going to do the light one and say the exact same thing, but gosh darn it, I'm in love with this freaking kit. Oh, okay. Let's add the weekend. I don't even want to put it on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to add some... Oh, that's not going to work because it's not going to reach across. Oh, I don't want to put the weekend banner. We're going to put the weekend banner down here because I don't want it on the castle. And I don't like it being on the white and not on a sticker. So we added that down at the bottom. She went on the bottom. Okay, so that's perfect. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add this double box scene, which is what I would usually put on my weekend. But I'm just going to add this down here because there's so many options you guys I don't know what to do oh my gosh uh, yeah I'm gonna add that up here to balance it out a little bit but I definitely want to use this double box scene because it's her room and it has the tapestry on the wall which is kind of a key key point in the book so we're gonna throw that one down up here and uh, we're just gonna go with it and see we're gonna see what happens because there's just too many dang options Elaine, and I can't decide. <laughs> this is what happens when you have super talented friends that do stuff like make stickers. You have problems. Actually, do we want to throw? No, we're not going to throw a glitter header in there because it's going to be, well, is it too much though? Yeah, you know what? We're going to do a glitter header and then we're going to layer it if I can get it on there straight because Lord knows I am not good with laying them stickers on there straight. I do not have, which is really funny because in basic training, I was a bed aligner. And if you guys have been through basic training, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, I'll just give you a quick backstory. The TIs gave us jobs within our dorm. Um, and they were kind of silly jobs. One was cleaning the, not silly, but they were meant to like, I don't know. I don't know. You just had to pull your weight, I guess, is what they wanted you to learn. But, um... So like cleaning the restroom, doing the laundry, stuff like that. And then we had bed aligners and it was our job to go through. We had this like two by four that had two holes drilled into the end and we had to go through and align the beds and they're like metal beds. So they have the posts that come up on the end and you have to put the, the piece of wood on the end post of two of the beds to like align them and make sure they were all the same space apart. But a lot of the times it came to eyeballing to make sure they were all in a line because everything had to be like ridiculously straight. Like our TI one time came in and trashed our dorm room, which apparently they all do this, but he came in and trashed our dorm room because the beds weren't straight. And you're just supposed to have a really good eye. And I made marksman, um, which means I shot really well. I made like, I think 18 out of 22 shots or something like that. Um, within the bullseye and so I got picked as a bed aligner and then turns out I suck at lining things up so <laughs> I don't know if it's just my eyes getting worse or what but it's just funny because I was a bed aligner and I can't line up these stickers to save my life so now I'm gonna go through and add in some of the other full boxes that I know for sure I want to use I definitely want to use the clock tower I definitely want to use the knocker I really want to use this one, but I also really want to use this one. I don't know, guys. I really just, I don't know. So, we're going to put the clock tower here first, and then see what happens. Okay, so that is how it's gonna look for now. I am actually really, really excited about this kit. Um, I know the lighting for some reason isn't great on this side, I think because the kit is just so dark, um, but it turned out really amazing. I'm super stoked with it. Um, I can't wait to see like the pen laid down and everything, um, but I really just absolutely adore how this came out. I think I am going to throw some additional full boxes kind of down on the bottom here um, because summer break we don't do a ton anyway. 
so I think I'll have enough space in between to kind of write down what I want to write down and then go from there. Um, I am going to write in the habit trackers really quick. I'm going to be using my black pen um, for this one just because the kit is so dark. And this is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite pen ever. It's a Bic Roller Glide. It's called the Z4, I believe. These are my absolute favorite pens. They're gel, they write really smooth and really creamy, but they dry really fast so they don't smear. They take a little bit longer to dry on the glossy stickers, but they don't smear. So then I'm also going to add my little stickers, which I think we're just gonna keep using the um, face mask ones for wash your face because I do tend to do a face mask and then reading. So that's what it's going to look like for now. I'm super excited with how this came out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on the kit and the book if you've read it. Feel free again to join us for Books with Coffee book club in the Coffee Doodles group. Everything will be linked down below because we will be reading this book for June and we'd love to have you read along with us and share your thoughts. Both of these kits will be available in the shop on Friday and you can pick those up then. You can use code Coffee with Amanda to get 15% off your order because the Memorial Day sale will be over by then. Um, and make sure to check out Holly and I's Instagrams. We both have pictures of the kits up as well as a little bit of a haul and a walkthrough so you can kind of see both of the kits and decide if you want which one you'd like to grab or if you'd like to grab both obviously I would like both because I think they're both amazing but it's totally up to you um, the castle as well as the fashion girls add-ons are separate from the kit but if you don't want to pick up those you definitely do get a wide variety of options in the kit itself you get the extra full box here and then you get the sheet of six full boxes so you definitely have options I'm sorry not six eight you get eight nine full boxes total so you definitely have options seven for each day two for the sidebar if you want or seven and one and then you have a leftover so you have plenty of sticker options within these kits um, so they are definitely something that I would highly recommend picking up her kits in general if you've never ordered from her before um, if you have ordered from her before you know the quality is amazing shipping time my stuff usually ships same day in all honesty um, if not it's like next day and I have it within three days, which is saying something because we live in Hawaii and shipping normally takes a bit longer. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to get, again hear your comments in the section below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!